What's up? It's the boy H Town Rule. I'm coming at you with a review of the Hubson H501S and then the Hubson H501SS. The black one is the H501S, the white one is the H501SS. Uh, I put customized uh, paint schemes on both of them, actually decals. This is the Hubson H501S in black. This is the Hubson H501SS. The major difference I see when flying these two is the H501SS. It flies at, um, I believe it's 4.2 miles per second. This one flies at 5.2 miles per se second. This one, when you hit return to home, it returns to home backwards. And the H501SS, when you hit return to home, it turns around to you and fly facing you coming home uh, I can say the H501SS I have more flying experience with it but the H501S for whatever reason I feel like it's a more stable flight without wind okay um, the H501SS I mean the H501S uh, it comes with the camera on the front, and that's actually an ND filter poking out. The H501SS, it has an ND filter on it now, but I had to add it. It was flush. I didn't like the video that much. A lot of people have a problem with Hubton. I didn't take um, my black one out 940 meters. I have took the white one out not that far. I've just been flying it around the park. I haven't really did a range test. I think the max I took it out was like 350 meters with clear FPV reception. I'm not going to take up your whole day. That's a little comparison of the two side by side, identical. Um, copters, the difference is with the internal motherboard and the H501SS's um, motherboard can be detached from the camera. The motherboard to the S is one with the um, camera.